Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Jamal Abiyade and welcome back for yet another YouTube tutorial. This is gonna be a quick one because I know you guys are working. I'm gonna show you three ways how to reverse an audio sample or audio clip. If you find this video helpful, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that notification button so you can be updated when I drop a video weekly. And for all my producers, make sure you visit jamalabiyade.com and cop some sample packs and some drum kits. But look you guys, enough of all that. Let me show you three ways how to reverse an audio clip. All right, you guys, let's get into it. So I have an um, a, a audio sample. It's uh, just a sample. A quick loop, cool. So here's the first way how to reverse an audio clip. I don't like this technique, but I'm showing you guys so you guys will do know. So first step is to double click the audio sample. There you go, boom, click it. Boom, double click it. Go to file, boom. Go to function, boom. Right there, reverse. So I usually don't use this way. I don't like this way, but this is. All right, so let me show you guys why I don't use this technique. So I just reversed it back, so it's back to normal. So let's say, let's do this. Let's say I, boom, I take this, copy this, I put this on a different track. I go back up here, right? I click this separate file. This right here, double click it again. File, function, reverse. Let me actually put it up here. It reverses both of them. So let me do that one more time so you guys can see it. So if I just hit click this one, double click this, boom, file, function, reverse, it reverses everything. So even though this is not highlighted, it still reverses this audio clip because it's, it's a copy of this. So let's say you do like this technique and you wanna keep on using it. The way to move past that roadblock of it reversing everything is you control click, hit bounce in place, uh, look, bounce in place, new track, boom. So this is a new track right here and it mutes, and it mutes that. So when I go down here, well, let's say I stay up here, it doesn't matter. When I stay up here, uh, make this small so you can see. When I stay up here, file, function, go down to reverse, it only reverses that one, and this one stays the same. So it only reverses one of them, and the other one stays the same. So you, as you see, this is reverse. And this is the same. So, but that's a lot of extra steps, but I do want to show you that technique. So that's one, that's the technique one and two, how to reverse. Here's the third way, and this is the technique I, technique I use. As you see, I copy these three, I have three samples of the same copy. I want to reverse this middle section, this one right here. Boom, I want to reverse this one. So first thing you have to do, if it's not open, go hit this eye right here, this is an inspecting window on the left-hand side, boom. This most likely is going to be closed. Open this up, and this might most likely be closed as well. Hit more. Make sure it's highlighted. Whatever you want to reverse it, make sure it's highlighted. So boom, boom, I want this reverse highlighted. And simple as this, click that reverse right there. Boom, simple as that. And it only changes one at a time. I know I showed you guys the other ways first and it's kind of the, uh, what I assume is the wrong way, but I know a lot of engineers that use that way to reverse. I showed you that way because as an engineer, as a producer, as an artist, and especially for our home studio, we are the engineers and I feel like you should know every way to do certain things in logic. But look you guys, that's a quick video. If you liked it, if it's helpful, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. But that are the three ways how you reverse an audio clip in Logic Pro.